Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, this is your weekend edition for the weekend of Friday, November 15th through Sunday, November 17th. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, yes? So just because this is dated for this specific weekend, it doesn't have to resonate on that weekend, okay? All right, guys, I don't have a pre-shuffle for you right now because I have a pretty epic story to tell you. So. As you can hear, I do have a microphone. Um, I did get the microphone replaced yesterday. It was a bit of an ordeal. It took a while. Um, it basically, oh, well, actually, I do have another announcement, but it took basically all day. Um, but the other announcement that I have here for you guys is there is, there's going to be no um, masculine and feminine reading this weekend, unfortunately, because I now have to play catch up <clears throat> on readings. Um, that I was meant to do yesterday. Well, some of the readings that I was meant to do, that I okay, I, I didn't get to do the readings yesterday that I was scheduled to do because of the microphone situation. So I have to play catch up today. So I'm going to be spending my time doing that today. But also, um, when it comes to the divine partnership, divine counterpart, um, twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine readings, I actually want to go back to my mirror format. So I'm not going to be doing the getting to know you or connecting with your inner masculine or inner feminine readings anymore because I really have this strong desire to stop separating the two parts because for the most part those of us in the collective here or at least those of us that have or those of you that have been following me for an extended period of time that have been with me for a minute um we've really come into this place of having balanced or working on the balance between masculine and feminine. The getting to connecting with your inner masculine or inner feminine readings were really good for what they were at the time. And they are definitely going to stay up there. So if you ever want to refer back to those readings, just to get a little bit of a deeper understanding, I highly recommend that you do so. However, in re doing those readings moving forward, I want to combine the two back together. So I'm bringing back my mirror readings. And if you're new to my channel, and you've never seen a Twin Flame mirror reading or a mirror reading before, then that's something that I developed for the Twin Flame Collective. You can go and check out. I have a playlist on my channel of Twin Flame readings that I did back in the day. Um, the last few months were, uh, were um, mirror readings. So if you want to check those out beforehand before I get the new one going, then you're more than welcome to do so. But just keep in mind moving forward, once I start doing those readings again, um, they are going to be mirror readings. Yes? Excellent. So I'll keep you posted on that, but that's not going to happen this weekend because today I have to play catch up. And normally I would record those readings today on Friday, but then post them on Saturday. Also, keep in mind that tomorrow, the 16th, I am going to be doing a unboxing of all of the beautiful gifts that I have received so far. Yes, that's going to be at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mark your calendars. I'm going to schedule it today so that you guys can, you know, get in on that and set reminders and whatnot, whatever. And it's going to be a fun time. I'm super excited about it. Okay, so now back to my story. So yesterday I spent most of the day replacing my microphone. Um, the saving grace was that I had, in fact, got a one-year warranty on the last or um, um, replacement plan or whatever on the last mic that I bought <clears throat> and it was just under the one year mark because I bought that mic in December of last year and it is now November so cool okay I was still under the warranty so I didn't have to buy a whole new microphone I did end up spending like $15 just to put a two-year um, plan on this one just because I wanted to be extra safe with it. So excellent. That was not the issue. Um, it did take a while because I ended up having to come back home to get the mic, to bring it back, to, have to replace it, blah, blah, blah. But what, whatever, it's fine. I got home. I was like, it was like four o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, you know what? I'm done for the day. I, I took, I had a really nice Epsom salt bath afterwards because I was so stressed out throughout the whole day. And then I made myself a nice dinner and I went to bed. 
Got up this morning. I'm like, all right, we got to work with this. We got this new mic. Everything's going to be great, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. I was in the market for a lavalier mic. And a lavalier microphone is one of those that you just like you clip on to your shirt. You see them all the time. You see them on, you know, GMA, Good Morning America, all the news shows and all this kind. You see them on YouTube every once in a while. A lavalier is the one that you clip onto your shirt. And that's the one that I was using before. Well, I opened the box of the new microphone today and I opened it up. It's not a lavalier microphone. It's actually a headset, which, to be quite honest, is probably going to be a little bit better because the microphone is now much closer to my actual mouth, my actual mouth, instead of like my other non-mouth, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> it's closer to my mouth, so it's going to pick up on what I'm having to say easier. Um, so that means I don't have to speak so loud. So morning coffee is going to be much more pleasant probably for my neighbors, except for the fact that when I'm, you know, shuffling the cards. Um, but also you guys are going to get to hear every little thing that happens with my mouth. Yes. Every slurp, every pop, every sniff, every sip of coffee, right? So that's not even, so, so, so congratulations to you guys, yes? But that's not even the best part about it. The best part about it, and I, I almost lost it. Like I literally sat here for a good two to three minutes just laughing my, my freaking face off because the headset is flesh-toned to be discreet, right? So that, you know, it's not so easy to be noticed. Well, what tone of flesh do you think this mic is? That's right, pale. <laughs> do you see this? Do, do, do you see, do you see? Do you see how not pale I am? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I swear to God, I sat here, I sat here for good, I mean, I was just like, you've got to be, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> so, it is what it is, y'all. I'm not dealing with it any longer. We get what we get, and... And if, now, now, if this is too intimate for you, if you're hearing too much of what's going on with my mouth and whatnot, then you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to find someone else to watch. Because at this point, I don't think I'm returning this. I don't. I, I'm, whatever. Whatever. It's going to make drinking coffee interesting, that's for sure. Sure you just heard that, right? I was trying my best to not make any sound, but guess what? It happened anyway. Deal with it. Okay, so with all of that said, why don't we just get into the reading for this weekend? I don't have a pre-shuffle because I, was tell I, I, I had to tell you that story. Oh, you know what? Let me turn on my light here. Boop. Okay, that's cool. All right, so... So I don't have a pre-shuffle because of that, because I wanted to tell you that story. So with that said, let's just, let's get into today's reading, shall we? Excellent. Well, this weekend's reading. <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, November 15th through Sunday, November 17th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. See, now, those of, for those of you that have been saying how, you know, <clears throat> I should do, like, ASMR, this microphone is actually going to make it very, very, a lot easier to get that sort of feel, especially when it comes to morning coffee, because, like, I could literally whisper. Right? Like, 
Oh, oh, stop, please. It's just, oh, I can't take it. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So anyway, I'm just, I'm just, hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Be careful what you wish for, people. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, five shuffles. Uh, and you're going to have to bear with me because I have to, um, I have to learn how to, how to best balance the sound. So if the sound is too high in some spots or I'm speaking too loud and it's like overloading and clipping, I apologize. I, st I have to learn how to use this mic the best way. Okay. All right. Number two. Four. Our weekend edition. Friday, November 15th through Sunday, November 17th, 2019. Best messages, please, spirit. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. What would you like to discuss with us today, please, for this weekend, Spirit? All of them. Okay. One more. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna do one more pass. Even though I know that was, that was a that was a decent stack. Should we do an? Okay, they want me to do another pass. All right. For the collective. So. The color scheme that I'm seeing right now for the collective is like a light blue into purple. It's like, you know those, my eyes are closed, so I don't know what's on the desk right now, but you know those like, um, they're like either like maybe a globe or they're like those, those, those like weird sleeves that like slip out of your hand, but they have that like iridescent like flowy metallic kind of liquid in it that's got like a few different colors in there and it just kind of like flows around and it looks all cool that's the effect that i'm seeing here it's like a it's like between like shades of blue and purple okay blue is communication authenticity communication oh i said that already purple is wisdom intuition psychic ability clairvoyance clairaudience clairsentience all the clairs like represents that kind of stuff higher wisdom um wisdom from the universe and all that kind of stuff okay Okay, so <clears throat> I'm hearing lessons are being taught here. Higher wisdom, higher understanding, higher learning is like kind of settling in for some people. Interesting. Okay, excellent. So we have our overall energy is the Ten of Wands with strength. Okay, and then... I knew this glass card flew out and when it came out I was I felt like I wanted to start with it. This is basically the central theme of the energies right now. 6 of swords, all right? Leaving rough waters and moving on to calmer waters. This actually did come out earlier in the week as this side of the card in which people you have these two people that are emerging from some sort of cave of like a rebirthing chamber is kind of what I was getting with it. And so now with this side of the card, you're continuing your journey, but you're kind of like getting into a mode where, you know, you're kind of getting deeper and deeper into the ocean and things are becoming like uh, a little more unsettled. It's beginning, it's gaining, beginning to be a little more dangerous, but that's because, you know, you're, you're getting deeper out into the open. And so you're, you're at your, more at risk of being tossed around by the elements but there's no reason to be afraid here there really is no reason to be afraid here you have the wherewithal the skill the knowledge the understanding to make it to whatever destination it is that you're moving towards okay you have the high priestess ten of pentacles five of swords seven of cups ace of cups two of wands nine of swords so there has been an energy within the collective um, of, uh, against all odds type of energy. Um, okay. Part of what upset me so much yesterday was the fact that there was a lot of good stuff that came out in yesterday's reading, but with the, the trouble with the mic, it's like the, cause I did, ooh, shoot, sorry guys, um, that's a problem.
Uh, I have to, I'm, I gotta close my window or close my blinds a little bit because the sun's starting to come through and it's kind of glaring in my face. Um, but some of the messages that came through, it's like at the, that like right at the moment that like something really positive was coming through, the mic would cut out. And like, that was so frustrating to me. Um, but part of what's been kind of in the energies of the collective recently has been uh, this energy of finding some sort of deeper wisdom, some sort of deeper understanding, learning something new, discovering something new about yourself, finding, uh, redefining what happiness is for you, where your happiness can come from, um, changing the way you associate your happiness. Um, it's almost as, it's like with this energy of the high priestess here and all of the things that she's revealed to you lately, all of the things that you've learned from the universe and all that stuff, it's changing the perspective for some people. So for some of you, that means like you're going in a new direction career-wise, financially, okay? Um, some of the message that was coming through yesterday was the fact that, you know, some of you are going into business for yourselves. You've been in this energy of trying and trying and trying and trying so hard to do things in a conventional way or the way that, you know, that people have told you that it's done and there's all this evidence of... <clears throat> something working out for someone because they followed a certain process, but that's not necessarily working for you. Well, it's not working for you because you're waking up out of the matrix, right? You're waking up out of that programming. And so you're not going to resonate. You're, you're going to, you're going to manifest things through the law of attraction. You're going to manifest things by working directly with the laws of the universe and aligning with it that way. You know what I mean? Aligning with what it is you want instead of hustling. So some of you are, because of that, you know, maybe you have been searching for a job or at a certain job and just busting your ass trying to get to somewhere that ultimately you're now starting to realize you're not going to like anyway. Well, some of you are going into business for yourself. Some of you are completely changing the way that you, you, um, you approach finances, you approach money, you approach your even worth at work ethic and whatnot, whatever. For some people, you're redefining what a family unit would look like for you. What would actually make you happy in a family? What would make you happy in a partner? For some of you, what I'm also getting is that for, with this 10 of pentacles here, you're actually opening up to the fact that you do want to have a family. And for some of you, it's the fact that you didn't re resonate with the traditional codependent relationships or traditional family values or family norms, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And that's what kind of gave you that aversion, you know, to having a family. But now that you're actually waking up to higher realms of consciousness and whatnot, whatever, getting downloads from the universe, figuring out some of the secrets of the universe, now you're kind of like, oh, well, if that's the case, then yeah, I want a family. See? Okay. But then you have this five of swords energy which is that against all odds type of energy. And that's been coming out since Wednesday, to be honest. Um, and then I did a reading on Instagram Live about that, and it's gone now. But the reading there was talking about, you know, moving forward with your heart's desire against all odds, regardless of the opposition. And for some of you, you've been through some real shit, okay? Five of Swords, and you've, risen, you've come out on top. You beat the opposition. And I'm not saying that you, you, um, you were looking for a fight. No, you, you just by you going through some sort of transformation, um, spiritual awakening and whatnot, you attracted individuals that just tried to cut you down. Now, that was also, don't, don't go out there and say, oh, well, we got to stop all these evildoers, blah, blah, blah. No. No, that's part of the process, you guys. Okay. It was, it is, no matter, regardless of how you, how your ego may want to define it, that absolutely was necessary for you. It was part of the process. Okay, darkness serves the light. That is, a com that is a concept that is very hard to wrap your mind around, especially these days. But darkness does, in fact, serve light. Okay, whether you want to believe it or not. Whew. Okay, so then you also have seven of cups, the ace of cups, two of wands, but then the nine of swords. There is an energy of travel for some of you. 
This Ace of Cups energy here is a cup of self-love, first and foremost. But what I'm getting from this Ace of Cups is that you, there may be some people out there that in loving yourself and in, in, in loving yourself and taking in this knowledge that the High Priestess has to offer you, I feel like for some of you, a whole new, a whole new world. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I had to. I'm so sorry. But like a whole new like a new world has opened up for you. A new realm of possibility has opened up, you know. Um, and so it's like you're loving yourself enough to take to, to like explore those possibilities. And it's really interesting that it's coming out the seven of cups with this side of the card. Where this person is like confused and almost blind. Well, it is this person is blind in the illustration, but it, it, this is this is kind of like a really like panicky type energy. Like, holy shit, where am I? I I, I can't see anything. But it's it's kind of a play on words, if for lack of a better term. I don't know. I don't know what the other words would be. It's 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 because. You've entered into this new realm. This new world of possibility has opened up for you. And there, like the, the possibilities are endless. And it's almost like it almost incites some sort of panic, especially to the ego. Because the ego, you're, because coming from this matrix mentality, this matrix pro programming, right? Be, uh, extreme focus within ego consciousness. You have, you might have options, but you have a limited number of options, a limited number of ways that something can work out, that something can be developed, that something can be born, that something can, can grow, that something can come to fruition, right? But when you open up to the infinite possibilities of the universe, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. And so that can cause a temporary like freak out moment, like, holy shit, what do I do now, right? And thus you have this nine of swords energy. But also, I'm getting for some of you, there is a there is an option out there. There might be a, a love offer that you want to send that is maybe to someone that is completely new to you or is um, of a different gender than you might have approached in the past. Um, and <clears throat> that is kind of an energy that I've been picking up on in all of this. It's almost as if some of you are like, or maybe there, this is just for a select few of people, but um, you're re, you're, you've stepped out of the realm of gender norms and you're more in this realm of the balance between masculine and feminine. And so you might be finding attraction to an individual that, you know, is, is of the same gender um, and yet may embody that feminine energy that you were looking for and maybe you're not maybe you don't end up with this person maybe you do but at this moment at least it feels like you're you're like well wait a second wait a second that person embodies the masculine or the feminine energy that i'm kind of looking for and you know i wouldn't mind trying that Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you see that, and, and it's not like, and it's not like this is, this might be a situation in which someone is starting to realize that maybe they're looking for a same-sex partnership. Maybe this is a coming out of the closet moment, but that's not necessarily what I'm picking up here because with this higher wisdom from the high priestess here, it's like, well, gender? What does gender have to do with it? As long as you're happy, as long as you, ch as you, as you two love each other and you, you're happy together and you, you find comfort and security and, and, and love within, with the, between the two of you and you can you know, build on a family if that's what you want, you, you have a meeting of the minds, then what's wrong with that? Really? You know? Hey, kudos to you. But see, that could be some of the anxiety that you're dealing with. That could be some of the opposition that you're dealing with. But you see, it's all about love here. It's not about gender norms. It's not about society norms. It's societal norms. It's about love. Now, that doesn't mean that people don't have certain preferences. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you have certain preferences, like for me, I'm going to be honest, I, I have certain preferences that, um, you know, that would keep me from being with a woman but it's not to say that I, I i couldn't you know what i mean i just i just i have a very strong understanding of what it is i want out of a partner and so i'm holding to that but for those of you that might be in this 
fluid place here. Explore. Explore. Do you, boo. Like, go for it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. You know, just be respectful of people, but enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself at, at busting out into that, <laughs> that song for that hot second. Okay. So, with that said, let's get into some clarification here. How do I want to clarify this? Yeah, I want to clarify these energies here. Um, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Uh, let's do Crystal Visions. I do want to, I, I mean, I paused for a second because I did hear Golden Universal Tarot, but I want to save that for Spirit's Advice. So what I'm going to start with is, do I have my Oracle decks? Yes. Okay. What I, what I want to start with is getting some greater definition of these energies for you. And then I want to get Spirit's Advice on that. Okay. Oh, the other thing that came through yesterday, hold on a second, because I want to look at these overall energies again. The other thing that came through yesterday is, okay, also with these overall energies, ten, the strength, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands with strength, you're, you really, you, you are having the strength to release some sort of burdens here. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, um, the other thing that was coming through yesterday was there's a little bit of an incestuous feel. <laughs> within the collective right now the twin flame i guess collective or those of us that are resonating with like the whole counterpart situation because as people start to come together and that's what was coming through with the three of cups that came out yesterday um and this is what i was saying when the the mic cut out um but as people as soul groups align right as you as you align with soul family or people that are resonating with the vibration you're on you're starting to realize that it's like well wait a second this person and i line up quite well on some things why couldn't we have a relationship why couldn't we have a divine partnership like i'm in this divine feminine energy you're in this divine masculine energy why not and and universe as i was saying that the universe was like yeah guys why not what's wrong i mean that sounds great you're aligning with each other aren't you you know what i mean but in being in this energy of being just stuck on one specific person it's not really i mean unless that is someone that you know for I and mean, i'm not and i'm not i am not throwing shade if that is what you know if that's what you're guided to do and you want to stay true to a certain individual that has helped you get through this awakening, then by all means do that. But for those of us that are kind of like, mm, well, I know that I, I want unconditional love. I know what I'm worthy of. And this other person that, that catalyzed this awakening is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to move forward. There is nothing wrong with that, you guys. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, especially since there's a narrative within the collective that's like, actually, you are your own twin flame, right? So, yo. Do your thing, boo. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I will drink. I will drink to that. Yes. All right. So, let's get into some greater clarification. Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Nine of Swords. <clears throat> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Three of Wow, okay. So we've gone from the two of wands to the three of wands here, kids. You also have, so far from what I can see, you have the knight of swords with temperance. I'm going to be honest with you. This knight of swords energy feels like someone that's really, really excited to communicate. There is a new connection. Um that has been made and it may not necessarily be all that new you guys may have been aware of each other for quite some time however you didn't like it feels like maybe you didn't start talking to each other or you didn't start acknowledging each other until now and so now there's this ooh with the magician now there's some sort of desire 
to con to communicate more. It does feel like an aggressive energy, but it's not. It doesn't feel like a fighting energy. It feels like I just want to talk to you. Like I'm really excited. I I'm really excited that we've made this connection, and I just want to talk to you more. Oh, overall energy is the five of pentacles. Mm. There is lack of confidence here. <clears throat> Interesting. There's a lack of confidence that's holding someone back at this point. It seems that someone has made a decision because you're going from, I know this card is flipped over. We'll look at that in a second. You're going from the two of wands to the three of wands in clarifying this energy. Okay. So it seems like someone has made some sort of decision and is moving in some sort of direction. And it really feels like you may have unconsciously manifested some sort of situation like this along your path okay this is leading this is giving in or this is leading me to the channeling of like something unexpected happening you didn't see this coming you didn't expect this to happen this is completely out of left field and yet it feels good okay you do have temperance patience but also balance and then you have ah the seven of wands very interesting there is a guardedness here Interesting. There is a guardedness. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a moment, guys. I just want to sit with this for a little bit. So, okay, maybe this Knight of Swords is about communication, but it also could be a bit of a defense mechanism, too. What I feel like here is, okay, especially since you have this Seven of Cups here, and we were talking about just like the infinite possibilities, right? <clears throat> I feel like this is you going with the flow. This energy here is you guys just going, or us, just going with the flow and allowing things to just land as they will. For some of you, this Seven of Cups energy is kind of like a, oh shit, what the fuck is going on here? Like, uh, there, there are so many different options. There are so many different ways that could come through. There is a feeling of um, being disloyal in some way or um, there's almost a fear that you're kind of like slipping back into some sort of old ways because you might be aware of different options of people that could be around you that could potentially be a partner or a soulmate or whatever and it's like it's really very much up in the air right now but the, the difference here the difference here is that you're at a higher vibration okay why does this look so dark i don't know if that looks so dark for you guys but as i'm looking at my screen here it looks a little darker than normal but I'm going to continue. Um, you're at a higher vibration, and you're really, I really do feel like you're in an energy of allowing the universe to play matchmaker for you. So just go with the flow. And that's what I feel like is happening here. With the temperance and the seven of wands, you are still, you're still guarded. You still have your boundaries up, but you're going with the flow. You're allowing things to come together the way the universe sees fit. Interesting. I do want to get a little bit more on that. But you know what we're going to do? You know what? No, I'm going to do this. So, because the, the next thing I would want to do is um, get Spirit's advice on that. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that specifically. But before I move forward, I do want to clarify these energies for you here. Okay. <clears throat> Also, with this Five of Pentacles energies, I said it before, but in terms of all this that I have, which is off screen here, there is a little bit of a lack of confidence here. That's very interesting. Leaving yourself out in the cold. Ah, okay. See, for some of you, before I move any, forward, I, any more forward, I want to say this. For some of you, you're in a mentality of, well, if this isn't my... This isn't the divine counterpart that the universe has been telling me is my twin flame or whatnot, whatever. Or these people aren't, so I'm not going to really engage. But see, that's these people are coming forward 
to you if you have a bunch of people coming forward towards you that are trying to offer you love or you have a bunch of potential options out there that you're becoming aware of you don't have to be in this lack mentality you are you are absolutely capable and allowed capable of and allowed to have relationships with other people if that resonates with you okay if i mean if it's if it's providing you with what it is that you desire it feels good you're happy about it you know then why leave yourself out in the cold like this you know what i mean like why do that to yourself okay so let's move forward traffic is confirming y'all <laughs> All right, so I wanted to I want to get a little bit more clarification on what these energies are here. Six of Swords, High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords. I do kind of feel like this Five of Swords might be a little bit of a self-sabotaging energy, but for the most part, it's strongly a an against all odds type of energy. Yes, look at that. Ten of Swords. But you see, the Ten of Swords, it fell out crossed. You see, it's crossing you. Some of you are having trouble putting the past to rest, allowing the situation to be done. Um, I almost feel like with the Ten of Swords falling out in a crossed ways, a crossed manner here, it's like you're, like there are certain swords that you're just, I mean, you can let go of most of those Ten Swords that are in your back, but there are some of them that are just like, mm, I'm not so ready to let go of these yet. Slowly but surely, you'll get there. Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, but to be quite honest, you, I, what I do want to say here is you're delaying your own healing by not letting go of some of these elements. And for some of you, I'm picking up that it is a specific person. Straight up. Not going to lie, not going to sugarcoat it. You have got to let this person go. Regardless of what happened, regardless of the activation, regardless of, you know, the bond that you might feel with them, if they're nowhere to be found, if they're not in your vicinity, if they're not in your reality, if they're not communicating with you, you have got to let them go. Regardless of the, 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 the divine spiritual soul connection that you may have with them, actions speak way louder than words, y'all. And if they are making it an effort to not be in your life, if they are not communicating with you, if they're not trying to, 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 whatever, let go. Free yourself. Free yourself from this madness. Free yourself. Okay? All right. With that said now, let's get into, I, I just started to notice how much I say that phrase with that said, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> let's get into spirit's advice here. I am going to start with this to be honest, because this is a thing that we need to talk about right now. And then we'll start, and then we'll talk about that energy over there, okay? But Spirit's advice in terms of letting this stuff go. Um, four shuffles here. Okay. Spirit's advice in terms of this. I, <clears throat> the Ace of Pen oh, you guys, the Ace of Pentacles. You have a new you have a brand new start coming. And I really do feel like for some of you, once you really once you finally let go, I do understand that for some of you you are in fact working on letting go. Don't get me wrong. I understand. I'm picking up on that and you're doing well. <clears throat> Keep going. For others of you, however, the problem that you're having is that you're refusing in some way, and it may be unconsciously, but you're refusing to let somebody, the, uh, an individual go, or maybe a circumstance, a circumstance with a certain individual. You're struggling with letting that go. In some cases, you're kind of refusing to let it go. But the moment that you do, when you sufficiently clear that energy out of your space, a brand new offer is going to come forward. All right? And I'm hearing for some of you, it's a love offer. This could be an offer of commitment. It also could be a new financial opportunity. Okay? But you have to clear the space. Yes, excellent. That was the only one that wanted to come out. With the uh, Damn, y'all. With the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You guys, you have got to cut away 
and clear the space for what it is you want to come in. The universe can't bring this to you, this Ace of Pentacles here, if you're still holding on to something from the past. Ace of Swords. Truth, knowledge, integrity, seeing something as it truly is. You have got to let go of something, okay? No one else can do it for you either. I mean, the universe can bring you tower moment after tower moment after tower moment, but if you're just rebuilding that tower afterwards, it's like, all right, well, what, what? We can't give this whatever it is you're asking for. We can't give this to you until that tower is cleared away because that is standing, taking the place of what we're trying to offer you or what someone is trying to offer you, okay? <clears throat> Traffic is confirming again, guys. <laughs> okay. So now let's look at the other side of the situation here. This other, this little section over here. So this could be someone wanting to talk to you, someone coming into your life, you going with the flow here, all right? This is you, this is for those of you that are in that follow through. You're going with the flow. You've released whatever it is from the past. You're, you're moving forward against all odds. You're, you're moving forward on your path. You're staying balanced. You're in a sense of union within yourself or a greater sense of wholeness or union within yourself with the, seven, with the temperance card. And, then, and thus you have these boundaries here, very healthy boundaries here, um, seven of wands, charging forward against all odds with this knight of swords energy. Also, someone, someone potentially wanting to communicate with you. Something, and, and something coming in, some sort of communication, a connection, <clears throat> a connection coming in in a way that you never would have expected, potentially, for some of you. Yeah? Let's get Spirit's take or Spirit's advice on this section here. Why are we going back over there, spirit? Because it's something that needs to be said. Six of Pentacles. Guys. Guys. Six of Pentacles fell over here. If you're having trouble releasing something, ask yourself, is this situation balanced? Is this person giving to me, giving back to me what I give to them? Is this situation, this doesn't have to be a specific person either. It could be just a, a, a circumstance, a situation, ship, whatnot, whatever. But is this situation balanced? Is this giving back to me what I'm giving to them? Or am I just getting crumbs from, this, from these people or this person or this situation? That should help you release something. Don't go lying to yourself about it either. Is this Five of Swords really self-sabotage? Also, whatever offer is coming that would, that would be coming in for you as you move forward would be balanced, would be reciprocal, would be in an, a, a place of unconditional love. Overall energy, yeah, look, spirit still wants to talk about that side. Four of pentacles. Release, let go. Also, in some cases, release and let go, but also stand your ground. Seven of wands. Let's, okay. Let's do this again. Let's see what else we can get for this side of the equation, though. The chariot. Fucking right, y'all. And also, um, the chariot did come out yesterday, so you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Or you could have Cancer in your chart. But then you also have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But I really feel like this Eight of Swords is very much an energy of breaking free of some sort of mental constraints, um, uh, society. This is absolutely, I'm hearing jailbreak, um, but this is absolutely an energy where someone is starting to realize the plethora of options that are around them. The many different ways that love, satisfaction, healing, family, commitment, whatnot, whatever, can come through for you. And that's breaking free of some sort of um, mental prison in terms of the ways, the options, the amount of different ways that something could manifest for you. And now that you've broken free from this mental prison, you can now move forward quite well, quite passionately, quite quickly. 
and a greater sense of balance. Okay? That's excellent. So there's a little bit of apprehension. There's a little bit of confusion here, but it doesn't seem to be, if you're in this energy, it really doesn't seem to be stopping you much. And that makes perfect sense because you have this seven of wands here, all right? You have this, these strong boundaries. It's almost as if no one can touch you. Okay. Oracle section, and I am being drawn to the dragons, guys. I am being drawn to these dragons today. All right. Let's get your oracle guidance. Ooh, the crows are back. So I live literally right next to a church. And I didn't realize it when I moved here because there was a bunch of scaffolding surrounding it. And I didn't spend too much time in the area because it was such a quick transition. Um, but now I'm in the front of the building where in the past I was in the back. Um, but now I'm in the front and I look off, I look right out onto this church and there is a community of crows that live in this area. And a lot of the time they'll come and they'll perch on the top of the church and caw. It's really kind of awesome. I love the crows, but they're back. They just came by. I can hear them. Okay. <laughs> Oracle guidance. Okay. Here we go. All right. What is your Oracle guidance for the weekend? Ooh, Silver Dragon. Illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul. See higher possibilities. And that's exactly what we're talking about here with this high priestess energy, with this high priestess energy of letting you in on the secrets of the universe, right? I almost feel like this has to do with feminine energy. This may, may, this, this may not be the card that symbolizes feminine energy within silver light, but I think this might, rep, this might mention it. I'm getting, I'm also getting just a feminine vibe from it too. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm thinking of the silver lunar dragon. This is just the silver dragon. Yeah, which is a fifth dimensional. It's fifth dimensional though. Page 56, y'all. That is an 11. A boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay, silver dragon. Fifth dimensional shimmering silver dragons radiate, there we go, radiate divine feminine light and gentle qualities. Okay, so I was picking up on the right thing. They exude harmlessness, love, peace, tranquility, balance, gentleness, and calmness. If we are ready, they surround our aura in a soft, pure silver light that enables us to retain these divine feminine qualities. They also reflect, reflect our true self and highest potential back to us by coming to us and looking deep into our eyes. They enable us to see the essence of our soul and discover aspects of ourselves we did not know existed. We are reminded of our divine magnific magnificence and may catch a glimpse of the mighty soul or even monad, I am presence, to which we belong. The guidance here says, your fifth dimensional soul blueprint contains the keys and codes of your gifts, talents, wisdom, and powers. Much of this is locked away and unused. Receiving this card suggests that it is time for some of this potential to be ignited and brought forward into your life. You are ready to reveal yourself and be who you truly can be. Sit quietly and see or sense the shimmering silver dragon who has come to you. Allow it to reflect back to you the hidden aspects of your soul and your higher possibilities. This may or may not be a conscious process, but it will inspire you to express your essence and transform your life. Be ready to develop any gifts or qualities that the dragon draws to your attention. You may surprise yourself. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And if I don't catch you tomorrow during our live unboxing, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Yeah.
Take care. Bye.